Good morning, Year Two. It is Thursday, and welcome back to your English. I do hope that you are all well, and I hope you've all had a lovely week so far. So, our English starter this morning is just having a little practice of our spellings. So these are all our cold spell words. These are all words that are going to be popping up a lot over the next unit. Some of them are also our year two words, which we've been learning this year. So using the look, cover, write, check method, I'd like you to have a little practice of those just like we did last week, okay? So think back to what score you got last week. If you maybe got three of those right, huge well done to you. But set yourself a mini challenge today to see if you could maybe get four of those right, okay? Um, if you want to have a little practice of writing them out, first of all, and then covering them up, then having a, um, a go at spelling them, that's fine. However you want to do it is absolutely fine. If you feel ready to go straight into it, let's go for it now. So one to 10 down the side of the page. The first word I'd like to have a go at spelling is the word grass, grass. If I go too quick, you can always pause the video as well. The second word I'd like to spell is the word early, early. Word number three is beautiful, beautiful. Word number four is huge, huge. Word number five is bridge, bridge. Word number six, water, water. Word number seven, the word is again. So practice writing the word again. Number eight, you'd have written this one yesterday, troll, troll. Number nine, the word is field, field. And number 10, the word is goat, goat. Okay, so hopefully you've done all of those. Do have a little check on here, look really carefully to make sure that you got all of those letters in the correct order. And I hope you got on well, I'm sure you all did. Okay then, so you know the drill guys, we are going to be carrying on with our story today, okay? we're going to be continuing rewriting the story of the three Billy Goats Gruff. So just like we did yesterday, I'm not going to tell you the story today. I want you guys to have a go at telling the story to me, okay? So you could use your text map or you can follow it along with my text map, okay? I'm going to flick through the text map. If you need to pause it to retell me the story, that's fine. Um, or if, yes, if I'm going too quickly, you can pause it. So from the beginning, let's go. Okay, well done on retelling me the story. So today then we are going to be, um, it says problem, but we're actually doing the resolution today. Okay, so we're doing that, um, this section here where the um, biggest of the goats confronts the troll and he stands up to him and he says, no, 
I am actually going to be crossing this bridge. OK, so we're on to the resolution section today. So let's have a little think then. Which of these are we going to be using? OK, pause the screen, have a look at the toolkit and have a think about which ones we're going to be using today. OK, so definitely going to be building up that suspense a little bit more now. OK, um, we are definitely going to be using description in our writing today. We always use description. We have got speech in there today again. Of course, we're going to be using our good character and our bad character. Um, interesting verbs, adverbials, and we are going to be working on this resolution. OK, so. Like I said yesterday, some of those words that we might be using today um, is hooves again. You might say that Trevor was feeling furious. He was infuriated. He was raging. OK, um, we are going to have a go then at doing a shared write together. And don't forget, our aim is to take that original text and to make that even better, isn't it? OK, see how we can make that even better. So here we go then. Whoops, bit of a wobbly one today. <laughs> so let's see how we can start it then. After a while, whoops. After a while, comma, the big, the biggest goat decided, I'm going to go for the biggest goat decided enough was enough full stop the biggest goat decided enough was enough he was going to join he was going to join oops his brothers he was going to join his brothers full stop okay um how might he walked uh, how might he have gone down to the bridge i might say that he was feeling feeling brave comma the goat Uh, I'm going to go for the goat stormed to show that he was feeling quite angry. The goat stormed down to the bridge. Okay, storm down to the bridge. I'm just going to check that it makes sense so far. After a while, the biggest goat decided enough was enough. He was going to join his brothers. Feeling brave, the goat stormed down to the bridge. OK. Might take that a little bit further and say. And. Started. To. Cross. OK, my sounds clip. Clop, clip, clop, made the sound. Of his, I'm going to go for his angry hooves. Okay. See if I can use a front adverbial now. Uh, 
uh, clip clock clip clock made the sound of his angry hue uh, his angry hooves so let's have a think about what i could use what are you going to use for the start of your next sentence i'm going to go for um out of nowhere oops Uh, out of, oh, where's my pencil gone? Come on. Oh, it's changed color, that's why. <laughs> out of nowhere came, um, I'm gonna go for cave, uh, came a deafening, Shall I go for roar again or shall I think of a different word? Came a deafening screech I could go for, or I could go for scream. Okay, came a deafening scream. I'm gonna use my inverted commas now because I'm going to have the uh, Trevor say something. <laughs> I couldn't remember his name there. Now, who is that making all of that noise, question mark, okay? Now, who is that making all of that noise bellowed? Bellowed Trevor. I'm just gonna put him there. Bellowed Trevor. It's it's me. Exclamation mark. I'm going to I'm going to join my brothers. I'm going to join my brothers and you and you are not going to stop me, replied. Replied the biggest troll, uh, biggest goat. Just gonna make sure that makes sense. I've written quite a lot so far. After a while, the biggest goat decided enough was enough. He was going to join his brothers. Feeling brave, the goat stormed down to the bridge and started to cross. Clip-clop, clip-clop made the sound of his angry hooves. Out of nowhere came a deafening scream. Now who is all of that? Now who is that making all that noise, bellowed Trevor? It's me. I'm going to join my brothers and you are not going to stop me replied the biggest goat. Okay, then we've got Trevor. I imagine he's quite angry now. Okay. Um, oh, oh yes, I, oh yes, I am, uh, replied, replied Trevor. Okay. Now I'm going to think about using some of that show me, don't tell me. Do you remember we were talking about this last week? And I want to see if I can tell my reader um, a little bit more about maybe Trevor's appearance. Think back to that start that we did last week. Do you remember we were talking about the girl Lucy who was angry and we were saying, uh, the, sen the simple sentence was Lucy was angry. And we were thinking, 
thinking about how we could change that um, into a show me, don't tell me, okay? To give our reader a better picture of, of what that might look like. Um, oh yes, I am, Trevor replied. Then I'm gonna say his cheeks, his cheeks began His cheeks began to turn red with rage and his hands, his hands were um, clenched maybe. tightly in fists, full stop. Okay, so again, just trying to make that model text a little bit better. Let's check it from the top. After a while, whoops, after a while, the biggest goat decided enough was enough. He was going to join his brothers. Feeling brave, the goat stormed down to the bridge and started to cross. Clip clop, clip clop made the sound of his angry hooves. Out of nowhere came a deafening scream. Now who is that making all of that noise? Bellow Trevor, it's me. I'm going to join my brothers and you are not going to stop me, replied the biggest goat. Oh yes, I am, replied Trevor. His cheeks began to turn red with rage and his hands were clenched tightly in fists. OK, so there's that resolution section all done there. OK, by all means, rewind this video to any bits that you need to. Again, you um, are welcome to use the word map, which I showed you a little bit earlier on. OK, you make sure you don't go past that section today. OK, just get up to that point and we will do the final section tomorrow. We are very, very close now, okay? I look forward to reading them and I can't wait to hear from you all. Speak to you all soon, bye.